This tutorial is an overview on how to update the signing status utilizing the Signature Closer's mobile application. The phone being demonstrated is a Samsung S6 phone. However, we believe that the functionality on all Android-based operating system phones will be very similar to this. To start, we'll push through a status update for this particular closing. You'll see at the top of the screen momentarily a notification will come through letting you know that a closing is able to be updated. Simply scroll down, click the update status of file SC123 test closing, and unlike when you're accepting an available order, this will actually drill you down into the closing details of this particular closing. When you're in the application, it is possible to receive another notification from the title company or from signature closers about other actions that you could possibly take. We'll push through another status update and you should see an alert appear on the screen letting you know that the status of file SC124 test is available to be updated. By clicking OK, you'll be directed to this individual closing and you'll see at the bottom of the, bottom of the screen you can click update closing status. Once you click that button, you'll be taken to a screen that shows closed or trip fee. If you elect trip fee, please note that your comments are required so that we know why it was a trip fee. Also, you should of course have called signature closers as well as the title company contact to let us know. For today, we'll click closed and you'll be given the option to select whether funds were collected. By clicking select an option, you'll see a drop down menu. Yes, funds were collected. No funds were due. No, but funds will be wired. No funds collected C notes. If you do select no funds collected C notes, it is imperative that you let us know why no funds were collected. Obviously, if no funds were due or no, but the funds will be wired, you would select those options. For today, we'll click yes. We'll click, excuse me, yes, funds collected and click submit. You'll see that it's saving the updated closing status to the system. And once this is complete, We'll simply click OK to update the closing status. We'll click OK. You'll be taken back to the home screen. If you look at the assigned orders page, you'll notice that this order is no longer on it. You can also go into any individual closing that has a check mark appearing on it, such as the file at the top of the page. That lets you know that the status is ready to be updated. You will notice if we go back, the file below it on Saturday, June 27th does not have this check mark. The reason is the file is not set to close that day or documents have not yet been forwarded on the file. Thank you for watching this tutorial.